With the existing lockdown relaxations as a part of the Unlock 4.0, Nagaland health officials have cautioned the public not to be complacent as there is no certainty that the next wave will not come. The health officials have raised concerns over the failure of a large sections of the people of not following the COVID-19 safety protocols in the state, while expressing concern over the increasing number of cases among the person through contact tracings. Here's a report. With the easing of lockdown norms in the state, and Nagaland health officials have expressed concern over the failure of a large section of people not following COVID-19 safety protocols. Addressing a press conference at Kohima on Sunday, Principal Director of Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Vizole Z. Sukre, said that with the relaxations of the lockdown, there is an observation that certain norms around COVID-19 are not being followed. The new lockdown relaxations came to effect on September 1. Phase 4 has been started. When we leave this lockdown into the fourth phase, there are some few observations we are making. The people feel that pandemic is over. When you come across the uh, town, you move around, then social distancing is like almost forgotten thing. People doesn't wear masks, the uh, vehicles particularly the uh, taxis, which we talk about social distancing, even by relaxing, it's not happening. Dr. Vizole also expressed concern over vehicular movements, particularly among the taxis where social distancing is ignored. Nagaland health officials have raised concern over the increasing number of COVID-19 cases among persons through contact tracings and said that it is a worry. As per the weekly bulletin issued on Saturday, 5th September, there is a spike in the COVID-19 cases among trace contacts. This week saw an increase of cases among trace contacts by 1% as it touched 19% as compared to 18% last week, added Dr. Vizoli. At one point of time, the recovery rate seems to be very low. But this was just because the positive cases spikes, which takes some time for recovery. The recovery rate in the state is crossing 80%. But when we look at the situation today, the contact trace cases, positive cases are also increasing. Not only the frontline workers, not only the healthcare workers, but then this is one thing we are observing. The health officials said that Nagaland remained in a green zone for around three months. With the arrival of the first special train by May end, COVID-19 cases were detected in the state. Till date, returnees comprises 32% of the total confirmed cases. While the initial trend of COVID-19 positive cases was among returnees, cases among the armed forces surpassed it. Till Saturday, armed forces personnel comprises 42% of the total cases. If we look at the, the pandemic uh, situation, we have come to several stages. First, we thought we are in the green zone for the last maybe about three months or so. But then suddenly, with the returnees, we saw a lot of positive cases. Then spikes started, then followed by lots of travelers among the uh, military and paramilitary forces. We come across a lot of positive cases. This was followed by a symptomatic person testing positive for COVID-19. The health official said that this was followed by cases among the frontline workers and then the contract tracing. So far, frontline workers comprises 7% of the total cases, comprising of 19% positive cases among the trace contacts, continues to see an increase in COVID-19 cases. Asymptomatic cases turning positive. Particularly when we started screening for the assembly gathering, that is again we, uh, we have come across lots of positive cases. This was followed by frontline workers started getting positive, then contact tracing starts. And when this contact uh, tracing starts, we come uh, we can across lots and lots of positive cases. 
Dr. Sukre also said that new standard operating procedure for COVID-19 testing, discharging patients, quarantine and home isolations, among others, will be announced after obtaining the note of the High Power Committee on COVID-19. State Nodal Officer for IDSP Dr. Nian Kikond and Deputy Director Dr. Kikameren Longkumer were also present at the press briefing. As of Monday morning, Nagaland reported 4,178 confirmed COVID-19 positive cases with 600 157 active cases, 3,501 are recovered, and eight deaths so far in the state. With Inzan Bimokuwung, Kohima.